Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> I need to come up with something better to say in the beginning. Uh, so I was just browsing around a little bit and um, you know, saw this. I thought it looked uh, pretty nice. So why not make a tutorial about it? Um, should be quick enough, right? I'm gonna link his um, his um, Behan's page here um, under the video, so you can check his workout. Done some cool stuff. So I kind of like quickly made uh, this. It's not exactly the same, and uh, you would probably want to go into uh, Photoshop and do some uh, more tweaking to it. But uh, yeah, why not um, start? This uh, this gives us an uh, opportunity to uh, look at the FFD modifier and the Quantify Mesh modifier and how we can bend text because um, you can't just do that. <coughs> um, <coughs> if if you don't um, quantify it, yeah, you, you have to have some detail there uh, because the. The text is made of uh, two big uh, N-Gons. Let's see, is it the front? I believe so. So, let's start. I'm going to write my name and uh, you're probably going to write something like Love Johannes or something. Probably. I'm using uh, Arista as a font. Quite nice. And uh, we need to, if you've seen my first tutorial that I made, uh, I used a um, bevel profile. Lovely, lovely modifier. And let's do a rectangle to create our roundness. Give it some round corner here. Editable spline on that one. Do segment, just remove these, delete and just add it on like so and ta-da we have text with roundness perfect we can now go ahead and just uh, make it a editable poly and let's separate these <coughs> so do uh, element and just detach like so detach them all and I'm just going to remove this, so... And now they are all separate. Let's just be anal and center the object, uh, the pivot to the object. Perfect. We um, now... Let's have a look at uh, the modifier that we need to add. I'm just going to select them all and go to Quadify Mesh. We have to do that, it does not look pretty but it doesn't matter this is text doesn't have to look good no uh, errors perfect let's just give this a material select them all like so still looks good great so now we can do the ffd modifiers we have two three and four and you know some other things as well and we can start to kind of mess with this so uh, you just uh, take the control points and um, yeah play around with the how you want it to look this is where your uh, artistic skills comes in handy lucky for me I'm such a pro <laughs> Just to do something here. Let's see. Let's just add it to all of them. No, that was not uh, what I wanted to. So do one by one then. Take the control points and mess with it I 
I don't know how you I want to look. Every time I always do this and I always forget to <laughs> pick the control points. Annoying. Believe me, it's not on purpose. I'm just cool like that. Can't help myself. So I love uh, I love text. It's uh, it's fun. Easy and fun. Probably want to rotate them as well. And if you uh, would like to download this scene file, you can do so on my site. If you would like to, not I don't know why you would want to do that, but why not? Might help some people. And you probably would do a lot better than me here. But that's okay. Oh, again. Seriously. Just gonna stretch this out like so. Let's uh, let's be cool with that, and uh, we probably want to rotate them a little bit as well. Maybe something like so. Cool. Yes. Sweet. Perfect. I could have done it better myself. Let's uh, take these up a notch. And let's create our um, backdrop. We do a line. On my left view, I will just create that kind of little L shape. You can do like a U shape as well if you would like to. And like let the, the light bounce a bit better. But I'm kind of good with this. Do a fillet on this one like so and do an extrude like so position this we need a camera because we're gonna add some depth of field as well so do a v-ray physical camera drag it like so i'm gonna press c so we are looking through the camera <clears throat> and if you like uh, these kind of tutorials where I kind of recreate something that I've seen you know if you if you have seen something that you would like me to maybe make a tutorial on um, you know post a comment I'm gonna turn off the depth of field for now I do not have the exposure setting on at all for this if you want to you can do so so let's go into the amazing shaders here a v-ray material and it did look like uh, just uh, a blurry uh, blurry metal shader or a chrome shader with a little bit of a bump maybe just maybe so let's let's do this chrome. Do like a 12. And I'm gonna lower this to like 0.7. And we need to up the subdisk a little bit. Most likely more for final render. The more blurriness you have, the the more uh, subdivs you usually need to have. Now for I'm gonna use um, a noise. If you haven't done this already in the options, you do want to change the render sample size. Uh, I think it's the default at like uh, 300, and it's not gonna 
represent how it looks on the actual model. <clears throat> so I think uh, between 20 and 30 is pretty much accurate. So if you're kind of annoyed at that and you haven't done that and the bump is uh, <clears throat> way bigger on your object, you need to change this, okay? Simple. Let's do a noise. Lovely noise. Point one. I'm gonna do a bit of a trish threshold here. Give it like, I don't know, 12 maybe. Looks like shit here, but let's see how it looks when it renders. We need to give uh, our backdrop a color as well. So I'm just gonna go with like a white. Uh, no, a bit bluish maybe. Like so. Let's just, uh, whoa, we need lights. I forgot the most important part. So let's go with a V-Ray regular plain light. And I'm gonna have a small light at the top kind of behind it a little bit and then point it like so let's up this to 30 is kind of small I have uh, subdiv 16 and that's pretty much it for that light and let's also add another one I'm gonna do a targeting on this one just target our lovely text and make it bigger and of course lower the the intensity positioned it somehow like so and I also well we can look see how it looks yeah we're getting there not too shabby one thing I have um, turned on because this is just this is very reflective, uh, and you or it's very easy to get very jagged um, edges, and that is I have turned on clamping. Okay, in the V-Ray, V-Ray color mapping, I've tur turned these on, so it clamps at one instead of above. You know, 32-bit floating uh, values. Uh, I, and I am using global illumination but like I said you can download this uh, scene file if you would like so and uh, check it out I'm going to just make a copy of this <coughs> and uh, point it like so <coughs> my throat this hurts <laughs> gonna make it thinner lower it I just want to have some light, some bounciness going on here. I have it as invinci invisible, not invincible. Oh, crazy. I'm so crazy right now. Kind of weak lighting. <coughs> you need some more finesse. So let's uh, up this a little bit and let's just add another one. And let's see where we are. You can see some really hot, hot spots here. And this was a lot of light there. To do something about that. Lower this one. Let's do another one. Of course, I didn't change this. Do one. <coughs> That's better. Of course, we have too much here. Oh my god, it's never ending. But overall, I think we, uh, we, we are succeeding here. And we have some weirdness, of course. Let's just um, 
something you have to lo look up or um, try to uh, see on your own model. Let's give it some. It actually had some blue. Let's uh, let, let's do those uh, diamonds or whatever it is. <coughs> and um, I'm sure you know how we shall create them. It's with a geosphere. So I have this at Icosa, <laughs> like so. Let's add an editable poly. Let's do um, edges, control A to select them all. Now you can use uh, chamfer here. I'm going to use quad chamfer because this is a fantastic plugin that you should check out. I'm going to link that as well. I believe it's $20, no, $40, but it's, uh, it's, it's worth it. It's a really great plugin and it gives you um, usually quad chamfers and um, having it as a modifier is uh, killer it's really good so uh, let's give this a white no let's give it yeah, let's see let's give it some color instead some orange ish give it some reflection fresnel or Fresnel, I don't know how you pronounce that. Too much. Do some uh, blurriness, up the subdivs. We want to up the subdivs for this as well. And uh, let's position this some. Like so. Use a shift drag. To a instance maybe doesn't matter it's not like a huge scene or anything I don't think I'm gonna run out of memory and shift again and I'm just gonna make this smaller and usually you don't want to like scale thing like this you would uh, uh, go into uh, element and scale it like that uh, so because I if you if you scale something just like so like this oops like this and you want to add a bend not with, not that we're gonna add a bend but if you would add like something like a bend it's not gonna work properly now you can do uh, reset X form if you get trouble with uh, things like that uh, but hey for now I don't care I'm a wild child. Well, far from a child, though. But I feel young. Like so. And last but not least, we want to add the depth of field. Now it's controlled with the F number. And uh, depending on your scene scale and all that, um, this number is going to vary like I have it really low here and it's still not gonna be that much of a blurriness as you can see and I love to take the edges like so it feels like I'm painting <laughs> but we seriously need to fix this I can't let you download this scene file if it's like that Just gonna turn off the depth of field. It's so taxing on the computer. Perfect. Did we have any other problem areas? <coughs> well, we have this though. Maybe we should like position this like so maybe let's do a render region to see no that did not help probably gonna be the same of course like so god 
Damn it. It's a hard one to kill. Yep. Yeah. I don't really want to lower everything. It's going to be so weak. Maybe that's okay. <coughs> Let's leave it like that. And make it like a thin stripe here. Or is it something else? Ah. It's not on that side. Stupid me. It's this light. Such a bad boy. You know what? I'm, I'm not caring about that anymore. So what else can I say? Not much more to say, really. <clears throat> you would want to take this into Photoshop or whatever else program you're using and, um, you know, give it some curves, give it some uh, some love. Maybe um, I love the gradient, gradient map to kind of remap the colors a little bit. It's lovely. I don't know if he has some chrom chromatic shits going on and he has some uh, flares it wouldn't be hard I'm not gonna do it but I'm sure you know how to do that and if you want to have more like um, that we also go into the Photoshop and compositing and such um, you know just say so I will be doing it later on, but I just don't think it's um, that necessary for this. I kind of want to show you the, you know, bendy text and such. So yeah, that's it. I did not add the uh, depth of fill for this, but eh, who cares? You can do that in post. Photoshop has depth of fill now, so with that Irish thing or something, whatever it's called. So I thought it was a uh, nice result and uh, well, you know, if you want to download a scene you can do so on the site. Uh, until next time, bye bye. <laughs>